Since you have requested another video, I will be giving you different examples or another example. So we have here an inequality which is x squared plus 18 <laughs> equal to 9x. So the same step na ato gamiton is katong gi-introduce na ako sa inyo previously. So first, we have to move all the terms to one side. We could either move these terms to the right side or move 9x to the left side. So, um, para mas madali, we are going to use subtraction property of equality or simply subtract both sides by 9. So, we have here x squared plus 18 minus 9x. Copy the sign 9x minus 9x. Okay. Next, we have to simplify this and factor the quadratic equation that is for the second step so here simplifying this one we have x squared plus 18 minus 9x is greater than or equal to 9x minus 9x that is zero so we have to rearrange this one into its standard form or proper form that becomes x squared minus 9x plus 18 is greater than or equal to zero so we have already simplified this one the next step is to factor this out again in factoring since this is a trinomial we have to consider the first and the last term so in factoring this one hanapo na to ang factor ng first term og ang last term so ang x squared defi definitely its factor is x and x copy the inequality and 0 so the factor of 18 on some my factor in 18 we could have 18 times 1 or 9 times 2 or is there any factor wala na so we could have na apa yes what else what is the factor Hmm? We could also have 6 times 3. Am I right? Okay. So, oh, so in determining whether haman dapit sa ila ang kuhao na to na factor, is it 9 and 2, is it 18 and 1, or 6 and 3? We have to consider the second term. So, ang second term ni ja is what? Is 9. So, dapat, pag i-combine nato ang duha ka factor, the result would be 9. So, 18 and 1, if we are going to combine that 1, that's pro the result would be 18. 9 and 2, if we are going to combine that 1, that is 11. So, definitely, we are going to use 6 and 3. Na unsa may sign sa middle term. Diba? Negative. So, that means, dapat negative po ang atong gamitan sa tunga. Okay, let us try to check by using the FOIL method. We have here x minus 6 times x minus 3. So, first term times first term, that's x squared. First term times negative 6, that is negative 6x. Negative 3 times x, that's negative 3x. Negative 3 times negative 6. That is positive 18. So we have here x squared minus 9x plus 18. Check. Okay, so we have now already here our factors, which is 8, x minus 6 and x minus 3. The next is we have to what? We have to equate or divide these factors and equate this into 0. So x minus 6 is equal to 0 and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Applying addition property of equality, we have here, by adding 6 to both sides, we get, this is 0, so we have here x, 0 plus 6, that is 6. Next, x minus 3 plus 3, still using the addition property of equality we have 
plus 3. So this is 0. We have here x on the left side and we have 3 on the right side. Now, naanatay values ni x. So ang step number 3, if you can still recall, is to use these roots to divide the number line into regions. Okay, so let us make a number line. Sabdi ko hiwi ha? Let me try to draw a line here extending to both sides and then we have here 0, 1, all the positive integers, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And on the left side, these are the negative integers or negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, extending to the left side. Now, hanap na to ang 3 o ang 6 sa number line. So, let us spot. Common C, 3. Okay, here it is. So, we have here 3 and we also have here 6. Now, we have the first region, the second region, and the third region. Now, if you can see, in the first region, all the numbers are less than 3. So, we have here x is what? Less than 3. And the third region, as you can notice, 7 and all the numbers beyond that are greater than 6. So, we have x is what? Greater than 6. Am I right? And the second region, we have here x is greater than 3 but less than 6. So we have now our three regions. The next step is to test each region using the inequality. So again, magbuhat na pud kita ng table. Okay. Let us try to make a table. Pasensya yung ako table kung hiwi. Sagdira kan lamang dyan. Isipin nyo na lang straight to. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have four columns to make. Sagdi kon hiwi. The test point. The inequality. The status. Okay, so we have here in our first column the region. The second column, these are the test point or point um, the third column it's the inequality the fourth column is the status okay so let us divide this into three regions we have region 1 region 2 and region 3 so, magkuha kita ng test points. So, from region 1, the values are less than 3. So, pwede na ito gamitin si 2 and all the numbers here. So, we'll use 2 na lang. And then, region 2, the value should be greater than 3 but less than 6. So, we could have 4 and 5. So, we will use 4 na lang. And for region 3, the values of x should be greater than 6, so we could use 7, 8, 9, 10, and so on. So, 7 may masood, mas gamay gamay, so we will use 7. Next is we are going to substitute these values to the inequality. So, on sa ganitong atong factor, di ba kinaglaong man sa step that we will use the roots. And then the factor as well, or the inequality. So, gamito na to is, kini x minus 6 and x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So we have here x minus 6, x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. So let us substitute now. This is 2 minus 6, 2 minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. So 2 minus 6, that's negative 4. 2 minus 3, that's what? 2 minus 3. 
that is pila negative one so we have here just copy this one zero we get negative four minus one so we have that's four is greater than or equal to zero when we say or so pwede equal si jack zero or pwede greater than kang zero si ja. so is four equal to zero definitely not but we have here four is greater than zero since or man it could be either four is greater than zero or four is equal to zero so we have here four is greater than zero that is of course that's true now for the second inequality we have x minus 6 x minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 substituting 4 to the value or to the variable x we have here 4 minus 3 greater than or equal to 0 so 4 minus 6 that's negative 2 4 minus 3 that is 1 greater than or equal to 0 so negative 2 times 1 that is negative 2 now, is negative 2 equal to 0? Definitely not. But since we are talking about inequalities, pwede na nato dili i-consider si equal na sign. Ang greater than na lang. Kay inequality man ang ato ginahisgutan ani. So, negative 2. Is negative 2 greater than 0? Of course, no. Since negative 2, this is less than 0. So, the status would be false. Next, for region 3, we have 7. So, 7 minus 6 times 7. tag ko na ha. 7 minus 3 greater than or equal to 0. We have 7 minus 6. That's 1. 7 minus 3. That's 4. Greater than or equal to 0. So, 4 times 1. That's 4. 4 is greater than or equal to 0. That is true. So, now we have already tested these points and we have found out that um, using the test point 2, which is under region 1, the result would be true. And using the test point 7 with region 3, the result would be true also. So now we have to graph the solution set. So, in saon man na to pag graph. So, since, okay, so I'll be using, I'll be making a number line here or a sign graph here. Okay, so, 0, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. So, di ba na, um, <coughs> na proof naman na to that these roots are solutions, are solutions. So, ato si Jaha na pundiri asa number line. Na pundita si 3. This is it. 3 and 6. Okay? So, our solution set would be the numbers that are greater than 6 and the numbers that are less than 3. So, the solution set for the inequality x squared plus 18 is greater than or equal to 9x or we can rewrite that one into x squared x squared minus 9x plus 18 is greater than or equal to 0 is Um, the set of x such that x is less than or equal to 3 and x is greater than or equal to 6.